call in what up Colin welcome back as well good sir oh and also guys I don't know if you guys have saw this on my Twitter but I actually won the fucking contest to go to Bethesda's E3 um, showcase like where they're gonna show Fallout 4 hopefully I swear to God if I and the trip is gonna cost almost five thousand dollars so if I just spent five thousand bucks and they don't show Fallout 4 Oh my god, I'm gonna be so fucking pissed. But yes, I actually won the Bethesda E3 contest. So that was fucking crazy. I honestly never thought that I would win that. And funny enough, you know Bird? Yeah, you guys know Bird. Um, Bird was supposed to be my guest to like go to E3 with, but of course he fucking ditched. And the tickets are non-transferable. Uh, uh, if they were, I would actually do a fucking E3 ticket giveaway. I mean, that would probably be the greatest giveaway like on Twitch history. So that would be fucking crazy. You're going to the E3 conference? Yes, I am, Colin. I'm going to be putting up all the pictures on the Twitter. And why am I still so over damn encumbered? Ugh. I mean, look at that. Why is the 12.7 millimeter so much heavier than the 9 millimeter? Ugh. I'm carrying way more 9 millimeter, and it's almost double the weight. That is ridiculous. Mm, congrats. Well, thank you, Timson. That was fucking awesome. I just, like, got the damn letter in the mail. Ugh. Okay. Um, do I want to go back and, like, loot the rest of the stuff? Uh, you know what? It would probably be smart. T -t 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 -t. You know what? Yeah. I will go back and loot this stuff real quick. Are you going to stream there? I can't, Tunnel. I can't stream from an iPhone, so probably not. I'm not going to have a way to do it. I'm only going to be gone for, like, four days, though, so... Um... I won't not be streaming that long. Okay, yeah. To the main offices. Mm. All right, let's see. Mm. Okay, let's go. I don't know what I was just looking at. Oh, the righty. I'm doing no. I don't want to loot the raiders. That armor weighs way too much, and it's not like even worth anything. I do want, however, to get all of this ammo and stuff. Wonder glue, thank you. Mm, always useful. Fusion battery, that's way too fucking heavy. I will take all these micro fusion cells though. They're actually worth a good amount. And is everything in here valuable? Looks like it. Okay. Are we over encumbered? No, we are not. Micro fusion cells weigh a lot. Jeez. Come on, pick it up. <laughs> and we're already over encumbered again. Damn it! Ugh! See, this is why I like to have a companion with me at all fucking times. Just to carry shit, honestly. I put my armor on just in case. And we're three pounds over. Ugh. Okay, you know what? I guess I'll drop the Wonder Glues and the Scrap Metal. Okay, there. Okay. But yeah, I will do all of this off screen. Because, like I said, this is going to take like at least five trips to actually loot this entire building. Goodbye, yes, goodbye, Mr. Robot. I will probably be back later. Alright, back to the gun runners. Four days without stream. Yes, Colin, four days. How do you think my other fans feel? Like, before, um, like, about a week ago, I went four months without streaming. So, my fans that were around before you had to go four months without me streaming. Which I guess isn't that bad. I mean, I'm not that fucking good. Good lord. So, I'm very, very pretentious. Alright, yeah, put all of this away. We can only carry 30 pounds. What is so damn heavy? Uh... It's this ammo. This ammo just weighs so much. Oh shit, Arizona Rangers on, baby. Yeah, I don't know what's weighing us down so much. You know, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Ugh. I really need to get a companion, but I don't know what companion to get. I mean, I guess I could go get Lily, but she's a melee character, and I would have to go through Cazadors, which isn't really worth it. I don't want to get Boone yet, because I don't want him going crazy and killing the Legion. Mm. Yeah, there's really no companions that I can get. All right, let's just head back on to Hidden Valley. Bob, you are amazing. You are amazing. Oh, please. My God. If I was amazing... Oh, don't even get me started on that. Good Lord. Whatever. I'll just say it anyways. If we were famous, we would have the 200 viewers like we used to have. We wouldn't have lost them all, basically. So, obviously, I did something wrong between that time and this time. Because we have fallen very, very far from what we used to have. Quite far indeed. Men that many men were dead. Did Veronica... What? Ver 
Oh my god, wait, Veronica died? Yes, uh, excuse, Veronica and Eddie actually died. And it was actually completely by accident. I was trying to fast travel to Hidden Valley, but I accidentally fast traveled to, um, Scorpion Gulch, you know, the place with all the giant rat scorpions, and they both got stung to death. So, we lost two of the best companions in the game to fucking scorpions. But at least before Veronica died, I got into Hidden Valley, so that's nice. Here to take an outlaw back alive or maybe dead. All right, Elder, I am back, good sir. Found the missing patrols, or was something else on your mind? Sniper Pro, what up, Sniper Pro? Welcome back, good sir. How are you doing, my brother? Uh, you're my favorite streamer. How did you lose them? I don't know, Timson. Just it was just a gradual like slowdown. Like we used to get like at least like 80 viewers per stream, and that was like kind of the normal. But then it just slowly started going down. It's probably because I got really lazy and stopped streaming, like, really often. I mean, that's probably the real reason, but I don't know. Uh, yes, here, here are their hollow tapes. They were all dead then. I suppose I'm not surprised. We have few friends in the world above, and many enemies. But we must turn our minds to other matters. When I sent out those patrols, I also sent three knights out on scouting missions. When the patrols failed to return, we assumed the worst, and sent a single communication to the scouts to hold position and maintain radio silence. I want you to contact those scouts and gather their reports. Like the patrols, they have devices on them that will enable you to track them. When you find them, tell them you're my representative and ask them if the bears are still hunting. That should get them to talk to you. Return when you've gathered all of their reports. Oh, I'm really grateful, Colin. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying that it's really odd that, like, it was just a gradual decrease. I'm saying that I must have been doing something wrong in the time between then and now. Like, I've always said if I just have, like, a really nice, like, tight niche community, like what we have now. I mean, hell, I, like, know all of you, like, personally now because I just talked to you so much, like, on Twitter and shit. I mean, hell, this is really all I ever really wanted. I mean, I honestly wouldn't want to make it super fucking famous, like, 20,000 viewers at once, because the chat just flies. I mean, I know I don't read chat that often, because I'm trying to fucking concentrate, but at, at that level, you wouldn't even be able to read it at all. Like, I would have to put it in, like, I don't even know, like, slow mode or something, and I really would not want to do that. And also, Shawa, thank you for the retweet. Very, very appreciate it. Alright, what are we doing now? We have to go talk to the Brotherhood representatives. That's going to be really fucking annoying in the sandstorm. I mean, d does no one else find it odd, like, in this entire world that this is the only area that has a sandstorm? I mean, this would actually be a really fucking cool effect if it just happened, like, randomly out in the wasteland. I mean, it would be really fucking dangerous because I wouldn't be able to see anything, but it would still be pretty cool. And yes, I know there's probably a mod for that. There's a mod for everything. And it, like, just ends right outside of this gate, which is really odd. Oh, well. I guess nobody cares now. And look, like, right when you walk out, like, it gets really bright. Like, look at how dark it is, like, right now. But as soon as we pass this gate, it gets really bright. That's really weird. Oh, who knows? Who knows? Uh, I hate Scorpion Gulch. I do, too, Tim. Some fucking... Ugh. I can't stand that place. Well, at least we cleared it out. I mean... I mean, my god, at least I didn't die. Veronica and Eddie took one for the team, I guess. They knew they knew what they were getting into. They knew it was a one-life hardcore challenge. And they knew that they were putting their lives on the line. They went down the way they would have wanted. Actually, I don't give a fucking shit about Veronica, but... Eddie died a hero's death. He died defending me. That's how he would have wanted to go. Alright, Mr. Brotherhood's guy, I'm here. What do you want? And don't try anything funny. Uh, Elder Mac... I am Elder McNamara's representative. He he said to ask if the bears are still hunting. You speak truly, for it is unlikely that an outsider would know both the Elder's name and that passphrase. Very well. I've been observing the penal facility there in the distance for some time now. Did you kill the and doctor follower yet? Alright, hold on, I'll talk in a second. The facility was run by the NCR for a time, but the prisoners overcame their guards and now use the prison as a base from which to conduct raids. What puzzles me is why these men have been allowed to run wild for so long unchecked. Why has the NCR not retaken this place? Give this to the Elder. My observations are all within. Perhaps he will have a better idea of what this situation portends. Uh... 
Alright, but anyways, like I was saying, Sniper Pro, no, we haven't gotten Arcade Ganon yet, and I'm not gonna get him, like, as a combat follower, I'm gonna get him way, way later in this playthrough, like, if we even make it that far, because all I want Arcade for is so I can get the, um, the Enclave on my side, the Enclave Remnants, I want them to help me at the Battle of Hoover Dam, because I'm gonna need all the help that, all the help that I can get at that battle, because those Legionaries do not fuck around, like, they're bringing anti-material rifles, brush guns, Thermic lances, chainsaws, so I'm gonna need all the human shields that I can get. And this is why I hate coming to Nipton. It always fucking lags. Alright, uh, we can't kill these big horners over here now, so that'll be some easy XP. Oh my god. You know what? I'm just getting out the hell out of Nipton. I can't stand the lag. Okay, uh. Alright, a little bit more out of town. Hmm. R.I.P. Eddie. Yes, R.I.P. Eddie. Poor Eddie. He died far, far too young. Well, he was probably like 200 years old, but still. That's too young for Eddie. He should have lived forever. He'll be remembered forever. The Remnant's armor. Uh, Colin, we're not going to get the Remnant's armor that way, actually, dude. The way we're going to get the Remnant's armor... Oh, God, there's enemies. What kind of enemies? I think it's coyotes. Or centaurs. That's what's around here is coyotes or centaurs. But yeah, Colin, we're not going to get the Remnant's power armor that way. The way we're actually going to get it is basically the difficult way. Like, if you guys have ever been to Deathclaw Island over here, you know it is insane. There's like three Mother Deathclaws, two Alpha Males, and a ton of Deathclaws. That's where the Remnant's power armor is. And the helmet is actually over here in Ruby Peak Mine, which is where the legendary Cazador is. So... Well, it's gonna be a challenge, like an extreme challenge, to get the Remnant's power armor, but I fed challenge well, and I actually look, very much look forward to that. Like, actually, we could probably go get it now, because the anti-material rifle is basically all I'm gonna use against the Death Claws, and I already have the 12.7, so, I mean, if we really wanted to, we could try and go get the Remnant's armor, but I'm not going to try yet. Don't take another step if you value your life. For what purpose do you approach me? Are you insane with one life in hardcore mode? Hell yeah, Colin. You know I love the danger, brother. Uh, Elder McNamara sent me. He asked if the bears are still hunting. Strange that the Elder should send an outsider, but I suppose he has his reasons. My observations have mostly focused on the small town to the south of here. It was cruelly attacked, its inhabitants <sighs> slain nearly to the last. That such an act could occur so far west is they're no mole rats. I'm pretty sure it's coyotes down there. In all directions, and an outpost scant miles west. I know where like every enemy is in this fucking game. This violence shows either an unwillingness or inability to properly defend their borders, which is telling. I've collected such musings in this report. Please take it to the elder. You know what? Depending on how long today's stream is, and it, uh, depending on how brave I'm feeling, we might go try and take on the legendary Cazador at uh, Ruby Peak Mine. So that might be the absolute conclusion. Like the cl oh my god, what would you call that? The finale of the stream. So <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna do that yet, but it's a possibility. All right, getting to this Brotherhood guy is going to be very, very difficult because the area that he's over in, this whole area, like this area right here, there's Cazadors. So. Ugh, this is going to be very, very risky. Should I just go through, um... Oh, God, what the hell is the name of this town? Uh... I actually don't even remember. I don't go there, like, ever. Mmm, I guess I could go through... You know what? We'll take the safe route. I'm going to take the cliffside, like, through Hoover Dam. This will probably be the safer way to go. I can't afford to take risk right now. Because this is, like I've said like a few times, guys, this is the final attempt of this challenge. This is my third try at doing this challenge, and if we die again, I'm just going to say fuck it for a while. I may come back and try it again someday, but I'm honestly just getting really sick of Fallout at this point. After dying so many times, it's just kind of heartbreaking, and I need to be careful. <laughs> but considering the last two deaths that we've had have been like the most shit deaths you've ever fucking seen. Uh, please do... Please do what? Bob is insane. Hell yeah, I'm insane. You guys haven't learned that yet? Okay. Alright, yeah. Let's just stay on this cliffside. Oh, there's the NCR base. You know what? I'll go ahead and discover this. <sighs> May as well. We'll probably end up having to come back here later for the, um... Oh god, what's that mission called? Restoring Hope or something? The one where you have to, like, go and get all the radios changed? We'll have to come back for that. 
<laughs> Don't quit. I love this. <laughs> well, Timson, uh, depends on how good we do. Everybody. Did the car.